Hey everyone, and today I'll be going through everything you need to know to get started with NordVPN. So whether you're after better privacy, need a simple way to access streaming services from anywhere, or you just want more security on public Wi-Fi, this will show you exactly how to set things up on both your computer and your phone. And as always, you'll find any current discounts or up-to-date reviews for NordVPN in the description if you want to check those out. Now getting NordVPN set up is actually pretty quick. Just head over to nordvpn.com Click Get NordVPN and you'll see three plans, a monthly option, a one-year plan, and a two-year plan. I usually recommend the two-year plan since that's almost always the best value, and it typically comes with a big discount. Plus, Nord usually bundles in extra features like Threat Protection Pro and MeshNet with this plan. For payments, you get plenty of flexibility. Nord takes all the major credit cards, PayPal if it's available, Google Pay, Amazon Pay, a good list of cryptocurrencies, and well over 150 international payment options. Once you finish checkout, just confirm your purchase, agree to the terms, and you're good to move on. So after you've created your account, just download NordVPN for whatever device you're using. They've made it easy. Apps are available for Windows, Mac, Android, iOS, Linux, Android TV, Fire TV, routers, You'll find the right version for your operating system right on their website, and installation is as simple as running the installer and logging in with your account. Now starting with PC setup, just open up NordVPN and sign in. The main interface gives you a world map where you can click on any country to connect, or you can use the list on the side to pick a specific server or location. There's a quick connect button as well. This will automatically pick the fastest server available, which is a huge plus if you just wanna get online quickly. And if you're after something specific like streaming Netflix, you can use the search bar to find the best server for that. Nord will usually recommend the best location for whichever service you're trying to use. If you're setting up NordVPN manually, for example on a router, you can use the NordVPN server picker tool from your Nord account. This tool might offer recommendations based on your location and allow you to filter by server type and protocol. There's also an option to see how far each server is from your current location, which can help with speed. A really important feature here is the kill switch. This can either cut all your internet traffic if the VPN drops, or you can set it to close specific apps automatically. So for example, if you're downloading something or streaming, you don't have to worry about your privacy if the connection cuts out. And with split tunneling, you can choose which apps go through the VPN and which use your normal connection, which is great for things like online banking or local websites. In the settings, you'll also find options to change your VPN protocol, with NordLinks usually being the best for speed and security. Set up custom DNS, or adjust other advanced network settings to tailor the VPN to your needs. And as a tip, choosing a nearby server will usually give you the best results. Switching over to mobile, the setup is just as simple. You'll find the NordVPN app in the App Store or Google Play, download it, log in, and grant any permissions for VPN access. From there, you get a list of servers to choose from. Either pick a country or a specific city, or just let Nord pick the best server for you. All the key features are available on mobile as well, including Threat Protection Pro to block ads and malware, MeshNet for securely linking your devices, the dark web monitor, and Smart Play for accessing streaming services. To get connected, just tap the server you want and hit the connect button. You'll see a confirmation message once you're protected, and you can browse, stream, or use public Wi-Fi with full privacy. And one of the nice things here is you can connect up to 10 devices at once with a single NordVPN subscription, so you're covered across your whole household. And again, if you wanna double check current pricing, available discounts, or see updated reviews, all those links will be in the description below. And if you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to drop them in the comments. I always do my best to answer as many as I can. So hopefully you found this setup guide helpful, and if you did, please leave a thumbs up as that's always appreciated. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.